Blessed morning. This is Apostle Dr. Wilbert Mutoko. And I'm so excited that you are tuned in. Everybody wants success. Everybody wants success. Whether it is in your health, you want to see growth. Whether it's in your relationships, you want to see growth. In your career, in your schoolwork, in your business, in everything to do with your life, you want to see growth. Now, Proverbs 23 and verse 7 says, As a man thinketh, so is he. As a man thinketh, so is he. As a man thinks, so is he. You become your thoughts. You become what you think about. For example, one might ask, why is it that Africa is very rich in natural resources? Africa has got quite a lot of educated people. Why is it that we are a begging continent? It is the thoughts. It is the use of the mind on practical matters. How is it that some countries that are well known today do not have natural endowments, but they are ruling the world? You become your thoughts. From the time I learned the importance of the mind, I decided that for the rest of my life, I will never waste an opportunity again to develop my mind. Because I realized you can become anything that you desire, regardless of where you started, regardless of how difficult your current circumstances are, regardless of who your father or mother is, regardless of what people are saying about you. If you think right and you act right and you associate with the right people, I'm telling you, you can become anything that you desire. Just the other day, I was reading an inspiring story of a young Zimbabwean woman who left Zimbabwe and went to South Africa. When she was in Zimbabwe, she had quite a good job. But her desire was to become a lawyer. Now, how could she do it? She didn't have the money. So she went to South Africa, looked for a job as a maid, as a house help. Now, I wonder how many people have become maids before? How many people have done peace jobs before? I have done peace jobs. I did a lot of peace jobs in my past. And I've said that in other videos. But you make up your mind that this is where I'm going. This is what I want to achieve. This is who I want to become. This is the kind of influence I want to have in life. So this woman worked as a maid and she was a hard worker. Her bosses did not know that she was actually studying for a law degree until she finished. She completed the degree from maid to lawyer. It's possible. It can be done. As long as you have conceived it in your mind, you have fed your mind with that kind of information, you have seen yourself that this is what I want to become, nothing can stop you. Even the sky cannot limit you. There is power in imagination. I want to ask you, what have you been imagining of late? What are some of the things that you spend your time thinking what do you spend your time imagining? Some people spend their time, you know, thinking about who caused their problem. They spend time thinking, for example, about colonialism. Somebody colonized us. That's why we are where we are. But you are not the only country that was colonized. There are other countries that were colonized and they have since used their brains and they have come out of their problems. You say, oh, I was born in a poor family. Who was born in a rich family? How many people were born in rich families? You have to make a decision. This is what I'm going to do. You see, the mind is so powerful that even for you to receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior, for you to become a born-again Christian, you need to engage your mind. 
The Bible says repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. To repent means to change your thinking. If you can't change your thinking, then you can't walk with God. You need to focus on what to feed your mind. Just this morning as I was dropping my daughter at school, I was telling her, daughter, do you know why we are listening to messages day in and day out while I go to drop you and when I come to pick you? It's because I've realized the power of the mind. Every successful person understands that the time you spend when you are going, when you are going to work or coming uh, back from work, when you add up that time throughout the year, it becomes days and days. It starts off as minutes, hours, days, and weeks probably. What are you using that time for? That time when you are stuck in traffic, you should be listening to a motivational speech. You should be listening to something that teaches you towards where you are going. You should be listening to your mentors. You should be listening to something that can transform your life. And this is what I do. Whether I'm in a queue somewhere, I never complain. I don't want to complain. I don't have time to waste. I know particularly in Africa, if you, are, if you don't want frustration, never go to a place without something to read. You don't have a book. You don't have a Bible. You are not listening to any audio that is transforming your life. You will be frustrated because our people will save you very slowly. And everybody will just be talking and making noise. But for people who know where they are going, as a man thinketh, so is he. Which means every opportunity that you get, make sure you are using it to develop your mind. Your mind is the greatest asset. I used to think that my spirit was the greatest asset. Until I realized that even my spirit will not be very useful without my mind. I've said it before, you can hire somebody that is handicapped in any other way. You can hire somebody who is physically challenged in their eyes. You can hire somebody who is physically challenged in their ears. You can hire somebody who is physically challenged in their legs or their hands. But can you hire someone who is challenged in their mind? The moment you lose your mind, you have lost everything. As a man thinketh, so is he. Can I challenge you? This year, 2019, you want to see greater things than ever before. Read books that you have never read before. If possible, read a book per week. You can alternate them. This week you are reading about personal financial uh, freedom. For example, you can be reading my book, 15 Secrets for Personal Financial Success. I wrote another one, What You Have Is Enough. I even wrote another one, Financial Freedom, it's your turn for financial success. I wrote another book, 16 Mistakes Singles Make, Volume 1. I'm still working on Volume 2. I'm still working on uh, another book called Sweet Marriage. I'm still in the process to write other books on leadership. What am I saying? But I read other people's books. You must read a book per week. The most successful people in the world, they read. Read about marriage. Read about health. Just the other day, I bought another book for 270 pula on health. You need to keep on developing your personal library. If you don't value what you read, if you don't value what you hear, if you don't value what you watch, then you don't value your mind. That's why your future may not be as good as you desire. Many people will say, my future is glorious. Some people will actually say, you know what, if it, if it happens, let it be. If it doesn't, let it be. Oh, <laughs> you have to determine your future. You determine your future by how much you feed your mind. Don't worry about people. When you speak to people, they will always discourage you because they look at you the way you look now. They can't see your future. It's only you who can imagine the future. It's only you who can see where you are going and you begin to take steps to protect your mind. Personally, I avoid negative news. I avoid negative news. Things that I can't control is none of my business. I can pray, yes, but I avoid taking in negative news. I avoid negative people around me because my mind is my number one asset. I don't know about you. 
But my mind is my number one asset. For me to serve God, I need my mind. For me to work very well in business, in career, in everything, in helping people, it has to be from the mind. As a man thinketh, so is he. You are your mind. You are your thoughts. Your thoughts are what you read, what you watch, what you listen to, and the people that surround you. Today, I want you to decide to change your mentality. Another way to change your mentality is to make sure you study the Bible on a daily basis. The Bible is the manual for living. If you are not studying the Bible every day, then there's something missing in your life. May the Lord God bless you. Dr. Wubit Mutoko is my name, and I hope you are going to have a great 2019. Thank you very much. God bless you.